out by Sauron. So here comes her little boyfriend to the rescue. Jumping away, and then we got his fellow tiger coming through the top. Cool little display there, huh? Yeah, threw a little tiger in the background there. Here we've got Apocalypse versus the uh, X-Men, and he's sending his evil minion, Archangel, to come down. And then we got Wolverine, always jumps the gun, never waits for anybody else. We got Gambit there, ready. We got Rogue, ready to fight. Xavier here, trying to calm this guy down because he's going to come down. And we got the leader of the X-Men sending him off. Storm working up something for Archangel. Moving on. Anyways, there's this really cool scene where uh, it's in World War Hulk where basically Hulk comes back to planet Earth uh, to seek destruction upon those who betrayed him, which were the Illuminati. Anyways, he uh, pretty much lays everybody out, and then uh, Sentry comes down. He comes down crashing through buildings and tackles him, um, which is freaking cool. He sends him through like four or five buildings. Anyways, it turns out to be a huge fight, the biggest fight. Um, they actually had to put a stop to the fight because they were ripping ripping New York in half. Um, I believe it was New York. Anyways, let's move on. That little boy there is actually representing Ares' son and he's arguing with uh, Nick Fury. Nick Fury's like, you gotta stay behind you. You ain't going to battle. Your dad just got, your daddy just got ripped in half. So there's everybody telling him like, what's going on man? Just stay here. What are you doing? Just trying to keep up with the comic books. This is actually a scene from uh, from the siege. Everybody's looking. That's right. Everybody's looking at Sentry because he just killed Ares. There's Norman. No. There he is with the arm. He just gutted Ares. There's his guts all over the place. His arm. Moving on. It's a cool little scene here with Captain America taking on crossbones. There you see uh, Red Skull chicken shit sending off his evil minions to do his dirty work. Moving on. Here we have the astonishing X-Men versus uh, yours truly, Magneto. Looks like he's holding up uh, Wolverine against the wall there. We got Gene coming in. Cyclops ready to blast. Looks like these guys got a plan going for themselves right here. This is one of Marvel's famous couples uh, versus the Sentinels. We got Havoc here backing up his girl. 
Solaris. Taking on the uh, Sentinels, Army of Sentinels. Moving on. Here we've got a posable Arctic bear representing Snowbird, Sasquatch, and uh, Guardian. And uh, yeah, that's Puck upstairs that you guys see. We'll get to him in a minute. He's kicking Hulk right in the face. This is a classic Canada's finest Alpha Flight versus the Hulk. And uh, this actual, this, this Puck here, I didn't do. It was done by Bosco's Customs and I was lucky to pick it up for 30 bucks. So, saved me tons of work. The parts to make that figure actually run about 40 bucks. So sometimes it's just better for a customizer to buy a custom if <laughs> nobody's grabbing it. Um, anyways, so anyways, uh, make sure you check Bosco's, uh, Bosco's on YouTube. Make sure you check them out. But anyways, uh, moving on here with the display. Um, this is uh, Alpha Flight versus Hulk. We are missing some of the characters. Uh, I'll get about, I'll get around to them eventually. Um, kind of backed up on work still, but anyways, enjoy. Moving on. All right, here we've got Ultimate Rhino crashing through the door. This is actually from uh, a two-part series. It was called Trial of the Juggernaut. Uh, there was two issues uh, to that to that uh, comic. It was kind of in the middle of the Uncanny X-Men uh, comic run. And as you can see, he's busting through the door, hit some shield agent, hit that guy in the back over there, he's knocked out. Um, this is Jennifer Walters. This is actually when she was representing the Juggernaut in trial. She wore this uniform, which is one of the many comics where she actually got to, to wear this. And this was a Comic-Con exclusive. Um, so this, she fits perfect into the scene because this is, uh, she, she wore this uniform in this comic book. Uh, once again, it was called Trial of the Juggernaut and it was a two-part run. Now here is Juggs and this is the uniform he wore in that comic. Um, this is the, uh, gray and, and kind of a silverish gold and yellow, um, on his outfit. This is not a custom. This is act, this is the actual figure. This is a prototype. Uh, there was five of these prototypes that, that leaked out uh, from 2006 Comic Con and uh, I was able to get one of them so I rarely bust this figure out. I specifically only brought this figure out for this display and for my contest entry. Also he didn't wear his helmet uh, in this comic run. He didn't wear this, he, he didn't wear his helmet when uh, Rhino came smashing through that door and the reason why he's holding a gun is he actually kills the ultimate Rhino. He shoots him right in the mouth as he's running to him. He grabs him in a headlock and shoots him in the mouth and takes him out. Kills him. Takes him out. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. And uh, stay tuned for some more good stuff. Take care.